Okay? So this is one, right? May, June. Uh, and I'll put that again. All right? And it says, wow, lucky person here, right? Three points here. Yeah, wonderful. So remember, it's only 50. I think there's usually seven to eight questions. A couple parts to each one of them. Sometimes A, sometimes B, sometimes uh, uh, an eyeball, right? Very common and so on. So the first thing it says on average a clover is uh, what here? Uh, one. Uh, so if you see a clover in plant, well, 10,000 has a four leaf uh, cl clover, uh, what is it, four leaves instead of three. Mm -hmm. So the oddball there, uh, the probability they're looking for is uh, 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 unique. Okay? One in 10,000. One in 10,000, that's right. So now what they want to find, and they say use the appropriate distribution, okay, to find what's going on in a random sample, mm -hmm. 2,000, that... Notice it says here that there will be two will have four leaves. More, More than, than two. We won't really need to look at this stuff because it's always dealing with four leaves. Yeah. More than two. I have to say that again. So More yes. than two. More than two. So you're going to do something a probability. Not zero, not I, one, not two. Yeah. So you're going to subtract yeah. from the, pro, the total mm -hmm. of things. Yes, I remember this. Okay. I know. That's why I'm going yeah. over it. Okay. I could just like, show movies and everything else and probably something, but no, I can't. I just can't do it. George talked to me about it and everything else. So let's talk about it. What distribution do you think you got to use? Since P and like uh, Nick said, it's pretty low, right? We have One. Poisson, right? Poisson, very good. Okay. Poisson, Poisson, right? And if you have your C notes, Poisson. croissants, no, Brian, the croissants fish. is brother, right? It's a fish. So it's croissant distribution, fish. and there's a couple things you should know about it. Okay, and then Nick can ask a question. And it starts right away there, okay? One, it says here, look at that, one dot one on the Z. It says, occurs randomly in space and time. Yeah. Uh, a constant rate, mean number is given by integral proportion, sometimes like, you know, three and five days or something. You'll see that over and over that happens. So they, they this test, they I've been going through five of them. I almost went through six. I felt like it, but the cat stopped me. They go through a lot of this, so uh, just some of these things, it says suitability for Poisson, these are the reasons why that you do it. And what tells me is P is pretty low, okay? The probability of that event is really small. Yes. So right away that tells me Poisson, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so with that said, all right, gonna move this here, all right? And Nick is gonna tell me, here we go, it's May, you've already seen this, Nick, so May, yeah. June 2017 slash 71. Yes. The big boys, the big boys and girls. Okay. So for number one, I, right? P is going to be what? P is the probability. And what is what do we know right off the bat? One out of ten thousand. One out of ten thousand. And what is this probability finding? It's finding um, it's having four leaves instead of yeah, three. Four leaves. Four leaves. Yeah. Right? That's all we really need to know. Yeah. Okay? All right, not bad so far? All right, now the next thing is we already know it's Poisson distribution. I'm trying to find a pen so it's mm -hmm. small. That feels good. Yeah. You want but, a pen? I have well, pen. I like pens that like flow and everything this else. Really yeah, I really good. Good. All right, oh, no. Oh, you said left hand. I got a gel pen. Yeah, yeah listen gel to me. Pen. Gel, pen, gel pens don't right, work. So I love you want a gel pen? Gel pens don't work. Wow. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. It's good for left hand. I'll give you some. Are they symmetrical? And it's a big deal. If, if you give some, if you give some academia a pen, it's a big deal. Okay, it really is. All right. So we're gonna try this one. Uh, the one, this cover, this one, whatever this one is. Okay. Mine's blue. Uh, no. They're both blue. They're both blue. They're both blue. All right. So back to this. Probability is this one, right? Yep. Now the next one says we already know it's Poisson distribution, so we're gonna use something that's a lambda. Okay. Lambda is based upon two things. It's yes, sir. N P. N P. That's oh, right. Okay. P is the probability, N is what? The number of uh, stuff that you got. Number of stuff. It's just the number of things. Number of occurrences or whatever it is. Okay. It's the number of things that are happening. And that number is what? 2,000. 2,000. So here we go. We're going to go 2,000 times 1 over 10,000. Yeah. And that will give us our average, right? Gosh. I don't know what. 2 over 10, 1 over 5, 1 fifth? 1 fifth. Point 0.2. Excellent. Yep. Okay. Do, 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 Okay? Not bad so far? You know lambda's normally be less than one. Right. Uh, well, well, I can't say that, though. I can't say that. It can be great. normally, not always. Not always. 
All right, so there's a couple I saw where it's... definite with probability and speed. Okay. okay. Remember, uh, this guy is going to be your value that we're going to use later on, okay? Mm -hmm. And I, I do it a little differently and so on. So now remember, it says, watch your eyes. It says what? Uh, find more than two will have four leaves. So that means, whatever the probability is, more than two, what would I write? Greater than two. Greater than two, and what's yes. the variable? X. 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 Greater than two. Now, that means three, four, five, six, seven, eight, infinite, right? We don't yeah, know. Three so the best thing to do is to change this into what? One minus the probability of what? Zero, one, two. He's right. So I'm going to do that in a second. Right? Okay so far? Make sense? Mm -hmm. More than two, got to take away from the total, right? What is not being? Go ahead. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just say never mind. Okay. All right. Not bad so far? So, just like Nick said, I'm going to put the minus sign here. And now Nick, he would probably distribute it all the way through, but I'm going to be lazy. So, occurrence that nothing happens. And mm -hmm. when one thing happens. Right. And then finally when another thing happens. Yeah. Notice I, oh, can't see. Notice I have pluses in here, but guys, if you want, you can make them all negatives, right? Minus, minus, and minus distributed. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Pretty that. good. I do too, okay? Me too. Thank you, director. All right. Is this light okay? Let's see here. Do, 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 lamp. Oh, no, it's too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Not bad so far? Nah. Now, we've got to put all the stuff in here, right? You guys know the formula, right? But we can do something to make life 100 times easier, okay? I'm going to show. I can do the, the long way or the easy way. You guys like the easy way. So what I do is I still say 1. And all of these share an E, right? Remember the formula is up here. Uh, e to the negative. E to the negative. Remember it's going to be E to the negative lambda. lambda. We'll times the lambda to times the... Times lambda sub to the n, or the over n factorial, yeah, right? Over n. Now every one of those is going to have one of these, right? Is it? That's excellent work. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So the big thing on this one, right, is you know that everybody's going to share an e to the negative lambda. So when you see mm -hmm. this, pull it out. E to the negative lambda. Boom. Now it's easy. And whatever happens, all we have to worry about is these two right here, lambda x, uh, lambda x over x factorial, right? Yeah. So lambda x is just going to be what? Um, the first one is always 1, okay? You know why? Because you do what? It's you go to the zero. E to the zero. Yeah, because x is zero, okay? I can show the worked out face if you wish. I'll put it underneath. So it's going to be e to the, what is it? Zero. Uh, well, I got e to the zero here, right? And what's, what's inside here? Then it's going to be lambda to the, you remember? So e to the zero, that's right. Yeah. And then lambda, what's x? x is still zero, zero right? Mm -hmm. x to the zero over x zero factorial, right? And zero factorial is one. Yeah. So that's it. That's it for that guy, right? So this guy's always one. It's like that binomial thing. N oh, yeah. Remember, it's a one and whatever. So when you see Poisson, it's always one. Now plus the next guy. Well, that, no matter what happens, how we do it, it's going to be lambda. No matter what you figure out, it's going to be lambda. And we already know what lambda is here. It's going to be 0 0.2, right? And I'll put that in in a second. Now the next one is going to be just, you take lambda, you square it, and you put it over 2 factorial, which is just 2. Now if there was another one, what would it be? If there was like, you know, P It'd be lambda 2 over, over 3 factorial. Yeah. There it is. You just keep going over. Yeah, plus, blah, blah. But there's nothing there, right? 0. 2 squared. So yeah, two squared there you go. 0. 0. 0.2 squared, 0. 0. 0.2, whatever it's lambda is, right? 0. 0.04 divided by 2 squared. Yeah, you're already ahead of me. So I'm going to put things in here, minus e to the negative 0.2, yeah. okay? And then I can put the values in, so I'll move this out of the way. So this is going to be 1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 quantity squared, like you said, over 2. And who wants to be the person that tells 1. me? 1.22? Pardon me? It's 1 minus e to the negative Negative point two, right? So, yeah, so, so see if you can give me this guy right here. E to the is this a little easier how to do it? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So doing all that, I think last time I showed you, like, you know, oh, right? Factor out the e to the negative lambda, because it always shares. 
Point oh oh one oh oh one one five. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Oh what point I okay. oh oh one one five. Yes. Oh oh one. Three sig figs. Yeah. What are they? Oh oh one, right? But they never said three sig figs. Uh, that I, is three sig figs. I always, I always go by three sig figs right on top there. It okay. says to give a non-exact numerical answers to correct, correct to three significant yeah. Oh, on the front. Okay. Yeah, it's there. You go. Three six. It all else fails. Three six fix. So yeah. zero, 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 one. No. No. Oh. Zero zero one one five. Because zero, oh. zero five is, is not significant. Really? really? I thought because wait a minute, isn't it? it wait a minute. It's, it's important. Oh, it's not between. Not it's not between us. It's, 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 it's that's right. Word. There we go. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I still Tommy. remember this from Miss Kent's Me class. Too. Yeah. <laughs> She's right, and they're right. It has to be. A zero has to be between a non-zero to count. Yes. There we go. Okay. I always thought the decimal. Okay. It's important, not significant. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Any questions? Not bad. Not bad one. Okay. Okay. Moving on. It says the following. Uh, the next guy, right? Next guy says justify your approximating distribution. Okay. Yeah. Yep. What are, you, what are you going to sell? Two bucks. What are you going to tell them? Give them a Wikipedia link. N is large and P is yes, small. Okay. C wins. It's justified. C wins. C was, what's that guy's name? Lassange that does all that, uh, uh, I don't know, those, those WikiLeaks. You know, really like Julian Assange? Julian Assange, yeah. Yeah, C wins. Okay, the biggest thing is, is notice that what you have here, right? You know that you have N is large. N is equal to around 2,000, right? N is large. And P is small. <laughs> Therefore, you Poisson. use Poisson. Okay? Because of those two factors. Yes, sir? I did a um, binomial distribution, and I got like practically the same answer. You will. <laughs> you will. You can do it. I thought it would be easier with the sum. Oh, it's much easier with yeah, the sum. Because you've got to do all the uh, combinatorics, right? I got something to the, like, uh, I had 0 .001 to the first, and then times point nine yeah. nine oh, yeah, to yeah. the 1999th yeah. hour. Yeah. Remember, it's okay, he's right. Now practical. watch. He's, that's beautiful, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. See what it says right there? How much time you got? An hour and 15, okay? Mr. Tribble's perfect on that one. He got all the points. Perfect. But remember, when you sit there and then the guy goes time, and that's all you got. Okay? Yeah. Hey, I mean, five extra minutes. Right. What else am I going to do? What else am I going to do? I got nothing else to do, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's all you're right. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so why did you use it? Why did you use Poisson? Okay? So when you have a big N and a small P probability, boom, Poisson. Okay? Poisson. And it means just fish. I want to justify binomial and just say because it's a conditional. Yeah, like and you can say for binomial it's because it's random. And uh, yes, more than right. two of uh, four leaves, okay? Random sample someone, you can get away with it. Okay? There's so nothing wrong is, with that, okay? What is the justify? What do they want us to write? Why did you write, why did you use Poisson? Oh, well, Mr. Rumor told us to. Exactly, okay? <laughs> Not going to start, right? Because you're, again, the number is large and the P is small, so it fits for Poisson what distribution. What do you mean the number is large? The number the of the random, random samples. Here? Is big. Okay. Okay. Now if it was like sixty or something, then you can use something else. So we can literally like the random and still work. Uh, is large, okay. and the probability is small. Therefore, PD is is valid. Is suitable. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Okay. So C wiki n equals two thousand. C wiki. See, ask Murmur. He made me do it. Right there. You go. Okay. Justify it. Justify it. All right. Let's keep going. Number two. Okay. Uh, let you read it for a couple seconds. Right. And they're like, oh my goodness, right? All right, let's read for service. Here we go. Very good. This oh, one's easy. Awesome. All right. I'm going to miss you guys. Where's the other, where's the other cat? Is the other cat over there? Longest, longer, longer. Is the, is the other cat over there? Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right, just It's getting nervous. All right, it's a long bridge. Okay, the, you know that this one's six bucks, right? Okay. All right, first of all, besides Ms. Avery, let the Sammy cat out of the bag. What would you use? Hypothesis testing, why? Great job. Now, why? Besides Ms. Avery said yes. Nick, because, man, 
management says one thing and these people go and say, hey, you're wrong. I'm going to prove you're wrong. Remember I told you I love that management, right? Like the adults say, hey, this is the way it is, and you're like, no No. way. It's not. It's our way. Okay? We're seniors. We're whatever. We're juniors. We're going to be seniors. We're going to take over. And we're going to prove you mathematically. In 20 years, we won't be seniors. Yeah. You get the idea. Okay? So, there's a couple things that are on here, okay? So, you guys already believe that it's hypothesis testing. That's number two, okay? So, I like the faint outline of what you were doing. Oh, oh, let me get that out. There we go. There we go. It's still there. It's still, I write so hard, I mean, it's... Oh, it's there we go. It's, it's fine. See, oh, so he has oh, thank six you. pens on his lanyard. Yeah, I got six pens on my lanyard. So, high pot testing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So... First of all, we have to say the null and the alternative, right? Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Reject the host. Reject the host, right? Now, what, what is the host? The uh, null. What is the null? Mu is equal to 64. That's correct. Mu is mu. All right, mu is equal to 64. Okay? Everybody know where you got it? It says blah, 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 64. 64. That's management. That's management. Management says this is how it goes. Now, what do you guys say? It's less than that. Now, it's going to be... Less than now, you say less... It, right. You say you get to base it upon whatever the null is, your alternative. Greater than, less than, not equal, right? Or, so here, it says, even in here, it says, da, 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 you look at the sample mean is what? Boom. So that guy is less, right? Uh-huh. So you're going to take a test. And it also says here, uh, heights of the plants uh, would be less than usual, okay? All right? Now, I'll watch your eyes here, okay? So what I did is I undermined a whole bunch of stuff here, okay? And right here, it's less than usual, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah. So since it says less than usual and the sample mean is 63.3, that means no way management. We're going to find stuff that's going to be less than 64, mm-hmm. okay? Now, what do you, remember I told you? What do you know? You know a lot. Right. The, you know the original mean, the standard deviation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, size, okay. Let, let's talk about how many, standard. how many stand, how many, which sample size? One hundred. Okay, stop there. Mm-hmm. What number is that? N. N. Yeah. N. Yeah. Right. That's why. I'm, right. The number you, you, of things. Okay, the number of things, the number that you're taking out of the sample, which you're going to test. Boom. Next yeah. one. What sigma? Sigma is three point eight. Three point eight. How do you know? It tells us. Yeah. Right? yeah. Now, what's x bar? 63.3. 63.3. Okay. Now, what's alpha? Um, 2.5. 2.5. And I always yeah. put LOS next to it. What's LOS? Go look on the sheet. Go look on the sheet. Oh. Nope. Oh, Sam, Sam took personal, yeah. Look on the sheet. Level of significance, right? Now, look it is a... Sheet. I know, he said it, right? Remember, it's going to be a, I believe, a left-hand tail test, right? Right? Because it's because it's less than, right? So if it yeah. falls in that realm, then we got it. Okay? Now, everybody okay so far? So that tells us what we gotta look up. So we got all that stuff here, right? Alright, not bad. So what I did was, let's see here. Oh, I since I did this one, okay. So here we go. The test statistic. Right? Mm-hmm. That's my Z. Is equal to formulas on there, right? What's the formula? Oops. Cambridge, if you count it. Uh-huh. Um, uh, X bar minus mu over X sigma over the square root of n. Mu, which one is this? Sigma over the square root of n. Where yep. is this one? What's uh, this one called? The hypothesis, hypothesis testing, testing formula. There it is. Okay. Gosh darn it. Where is this? Okay. Where is this in the sheet? Somebody help me. Well, the stat sheet? Yeah. They don't give it to you? I don't think so. Really? Really? You're kidding yeah, they me. Give it. They, they have to give it. I kind of remember we didn't get this one. Real, it, it's easy to remember. It's not there. I don't see it. Wow. That's there, ridiculous. You do see it, you don't. I don't. Okay, good. I'm not crazy. Right, you're not crazy. Wow. I, I'm well, shocked on that one. How are you, I guess, I mean, I've taken statistics tests and given them out and so on. And we always give this this thing. I, I'm just shocked on that one. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just, <laughs> if you guys, okay, you remember ace one? That's ace one, right? Yeah. Divided by the square root of n. Ace one, divided by the square root of n. Okay? It's mm-hmm. a, it's a square. It can't, well, then it'd be, oh, then we it would be sigma squared over n then, right? If you did it that way. 
Mr. Marble? Sigma. Right. I did sigma. I'll do, right? Go ahead. You have questions. Wait, what's at the bottom? A or sigma? Square root of n. Sigma over n? Sigma yeah. over the square root of n. Okay. Where does, does the alpha go somewhere in there? Yeah, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, yeah. That's, that's going to tell us our confidence interval. Okay, that's right. All right. All right. Yes, sir. So how do we know, like, if we should use a two-tail or one-tail test? All right. That's a great question again. Right? Now, I got away with it. Of all else fails, I always use two-tail. Now, you can argue to me that... Uh, I use two-tail here, okay? So, the level of significance right here, Sandy kit, pitcher, right? You'll see how these Sandy kits, right? So there's the mean, right? All this other stuff, right? When we standardize it, there's my Z critical, remember? Z critical. This is my critical region, remember? My re critical region, critical region, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's not scale, unfortunately, okay? So, if you're in here, he's happy, right? Yeah. That means management wins. If you're on the tails, right, that means it, it's failure to, that means you reject it, mm -hmm. right? So this one right here, I used, it won't matter which one I did, I did a, so to me, alpha here was 2.5%, and yeah. alpha here was 2.5%. I got away with using the Z test, which was uh, the classic 2.5%. So remember, you take alpha, and then I think since it's, I did two tail, you can get away with one tail, because it'll still work. I use the classic one, which is uh, Z is 1.96. That's the one I use because I just dump. To me, that's one of the tails, right? One of the tails there, one of the tails there. Sometimes you divide it by two. All of the tests that I've seen for hypothesis tests, there wasn't one of them that uh, you rejected. I couldn't find, I can't remember yet, but uh, I did five tests where they rejected. So remember, if it's all inside the covered region, you reject it. How do you get the, the boundary value things from the Well, to me, again? alpha is 2.5%, right? So right. that's 2.5, that's 2.5. So you subtract it, 1 minus alpha, and that's your confidence interval, which was whatever P is. And then you look on the sheet. And then you look on the, the sheet. Score. All right, so what is that? What did so you get? 1.96. 1.96. 1.96. Mr. Murphy. Uh, you, you look, okay. Do you do one okay. minus, oh, 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 oh. You look, okay. Do you remember the table now? Yeah. Is it point, hold on. It's, it's going to be zero point two zero two five, right? Zero two one five. Minus point zero two yes, five. Yes, it's going to be nine one nine minus five. point zero and two five, table. and you get zero point, what is it? Uh, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine seven five. Nine seven five. Now you look from nine seven five, remember that's a probability, right? And then yes. underneath it, there's going to be the Z that okay. gives it to you. Found it. Okay, and that yeah. came out to be 1.96. Now remember, it's outside. symmetric. Here, oh, positive. Sorry. Yeah. Now, Nick, you had a question. So I thought, like, when you did a two-tail test, you do alpha over two. Yeah, you do. Uh, here, uh, I, I just did a two-tail test. I don't know why, uh, but I also looked at the the, the the MS sheet, and they didn't take off for it either way. They did not take off for it. Wait. Go ahead. Okay. Never mind. Okay. All right. Everybody all right so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I would have done, if you did a one tail, you still would have got the right answer. Okay? They're not that picky so far. All right? And the statistics says, I would tell you, in statistics, if you, I was teaching it, I would say, Nick, Ms. Hebert, I want you to conduct a one tail test. And if I said less than, you're like, oh, okay, I know what to do. Now, if I said, I, I keep it general, you always go to 210. If they don't say it, then uh, whatever. All right? Nick again. But generally speaking, you would need to do the alpha over 2? Yeah, usually you would do the alpha over 2, though, right? But I, since okay. it's a left-hand test, right, because it was less than, that's why they didn't divide by 2. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, again, if, it was, if this here was not equal to, then it's automatically a two-tail test. Okay. Now, again, if, if this was not equal to, it is a two-tail, guaranteed. I don't care what Cambridge says, anywhere. That's automatically a two-tail. But if it's well, less than or greater than, you don't divide by two. But this one, if it's two tails, then, Nick, you divide by two. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, back to business. All right, X bar is what? 63.3. Uh -huh. It's not uh, 63.3. <laughs> this is not a bad pen. Wow. Minus, what's mu? 64. 64. I told you, Murmur. Yeah, I told you. Okay. Okay, over, what's sigma? We can't see what you're doing. Oh, you can't 3, see what you're doing. 3.8. Right here. Oh, okay. 3.8. Over, 
10 or square, square root, root of 100. Let's put it all in, okay? And now you know it's going to be negative, right? Because the top's negative, right? So it's going to be negative. What'd you get? Negative 0 0.7 over. Your point oh, point zero three eight. Oh, point three eight. You're right, and that would be what? Negative uh, point eight four. Try again. I got negative uh, one point eight four. You're awesome. What? S same with me. <laughs> what? Wow. What? I got negative one point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so she, I said, said she said. Oh, herself. I didn't hear you. She's he. Yeah. Why did no, she? Said, she was I got negative one point eight four two, but she meant also not. Oh, oh, well, two and two. Is, oh, okay. Well, it is. Yeah, you guys are nerds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys. You said, I, what, what'd you get? I said, negative 1.84, and you said, try again. And then oh, it was the exact same thing, and you're like, yeah, good job. I can hear, hear, hear the minus one. I can hear the minus one. Oh, that's All fine. It's right. fine. <laughs> just a, just a picture here. Remember? Okay. Sammy Cat, right? Remember, this is negative 1.96. We're going to care about that one, right? Yeah. yeah. And this guy is what? Less than, right? Or yeah. that's greater than, excuse me, 1.84, right? Yeah. So yeah. he's inside the house. Yeah. Wait, is that all we don't reject him? That's correct again. Okay, say it again, say it. Manage yeah. Okay. So manage it, man, man, manage it, man, is management. Right. There we go. Management so, gave him a Monday right. school. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they were like, okay, you didn't technically do anything wrong, so I guess we have to keep you. <laughs> so the conclusion is what? We do don't reject the hope. Do not reject the failure to yeah. reject. Tell them why. Because the heights would not be less than usual. Right. Because Z of calculated is greater than Z of management, if you want. Okay? I just wrote that. You're, you're just telling them, look, at, this is what we found. This is what management said is okay. We're in the okay zone. The test fails. The test fails. I wrote it this way. Since the test stat, this guy, is... Greater than Z, calc uh, Z uh, uh, you choose. That means we do not fall in the rejection zone. Hence, do not fail, uh, do not, or failure to reject. What that means is the H of O is good. Management wins. Management wins. And now the big thing to wrap it all up is what, meow? Yeah, yeah, is to say what? There is no stat, no evidence. They like no evidence, but yes, I love what you said too, okay? Stat save. <laughs> you killed Ryan. H of O. That's it. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. That's great. They're all online. Yes, yes. Do you know how, like, how you give, like, Yes, absolutely. Like they they just points. think about it. Right. Remember, this was six points. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know exactly right now because I've done a thousand tests. Yeah. yeah. But I know that one's one, that one's one. This calculation is two. Uh, the right claim here is, uh, you know, uh, one. Uh, picture is oh. also one. Okay. Okay? Um, All right. So can you, can yes. you uh, read? Explain sure, the okay. thing above the no evidence part, like the DNR. Right here. Yeah. Do not reject. Okay. We do not reject because our test statistic <laughs> statistic is greater than management, so the Z that we chose. Okay. That means it falls within the realm. It's normal. Okay. It's okay. All right? That's a great thing to say. That's six points. That's six bucks. Like that. wow. Oops. Yeah. That's, right. Wow. That's, that's stealing. It really is. Uh, exactly, Zach. It's stealing. And then, you know, we're going to be doing this again. You're like, oh my goodness, he's going on about this. That's what I want it to be. I want this test to be like dictation. I'm serious. That's what I want it to be. Okay? All right. And you will get these, okay? You, you'll get all these answers. That's a I, I agree. I agree. All right? Okay, watch, watch the other gimme, okay? And yes, you can draw these. If you draw this for me, I get real happy, okay? And what I do also is, who likes dogs? Dogs. 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 Well, yeah. dogs. well, yeah. Well, I do this also. Yeah, that's a dog. Okay, you get the idea, okay? I do dogs and chickens, and I, I'm getting Even though I'm a city guy. All right.
Any questions? Why don't we do uh, number three and then we take a break, okay? And then I want to definitely, please, make me, I mean, insist that I do number four. P PDF. PDF. I'm going to show you how to do it, and you guys are going to laugh about it. I didn't, I didn't cover it in the beginning. We we're running out of time. I, if it was up to me, guys, I would say you get, like, you know, because you get two of them, tests or whatever. I think the whole year should be P3, and then another whole year should be stats. Yeah. I absolutely, because then there'll be no way it'd be a 100% pass rate. I mean, uh, like nine, in the 90s, okay? 90% off, okay? I, I really believe it would be. But there's just so much information, especially with math. And then all the other guys do it and so on. But if it was just one year P3, and then you send me down the hall over here, you're like, oh man, I gotta go stats, right? You know, mm -hmm. and you took two five, whatever it is. You get the idea. Okay? Alright, so the next one. This one is number three, okay? And uh, I'm gonna try to read this out and so on. Waiting time at a bus stop or whatever. Okay, yep. that's good. Wow, that's As a variance, okay. right? And what I do is I write, how do you write variance? Oh, can't see it. Bar. Is it sigma squared? Not no. Sigma squared. Sigma squared. Is mm -hmm. two point six minutes. <laughs> okay. Officially, okay. Ryan is not allowed to talk anymore because everything he said I was wrong. I assume you didn't hear me because he said what's variance. I said sigma squared. And you said no. It's sigma squared. No, you didn't. Oh, you did. <laughs> I have a trouble hearing for some reason. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So if I wanted sigma, well, what? If I wanted standard, guys. If I wanted standard deviation, what would I do? Take the square root. Take the square root. So sigma. Is sigma squared square root is sigma, which is what do we do to 2.6? Square root. Square root it. All right, square root. And it'd be just minutes, okay? Minutes. All right, that's good. Wait. Now, yes? What the heck is minutes squared? Because it's minutes times minutes. That's a, that variance, right? How do you measure minutes squared? It's, it's just that's variance. Minutes times minutes. All right, moving on. I'm doing you for on. square minutes. Okay. So the next thing says a random sample of 75 people. What's that equal? What is that thing? That is your um, N. That's correct. Okay. The waiting time is 7.1 minutes. That's what your X bar. Is, that's your X bar. That's your X bar. Okay. All right. Not bad because that's your, av your average waiting time mm -hmm. for those 75 people. Okay. All right. All right. Not bad so far? And putting it together. Okay, now guys, all right, all right, thank you. Okay, so we have what? We have standard standard deviation, we have variance, we have the number of people that we uh, selected as a random sample, and their average, whatever it is, it could have been anything, right? But they said waiting times at a bus stop. Now, the confidence interval is what? 92%. 92%. I can't, what is sigma? I can't. Sigma is the square root of 2.6. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't calculate it yet. Not yet. I just okay. left it in radical form. Okay? Gotcha. I was All right. confused. All right. Thank you. Now, it gives you the confidence interval. Now, immediately, you look that up, and it tells you what? What's the value for Z? 1.406. Ah, uh, 1. what? See, that's what I looked up, and then I saw Cambridge. They use some other Z score for some reason. That's right. I use something else. Why right? do they give us a Z Hold on, I got people asking. Give us the right answer. That's my problem. Okay. Yeah, because if you look, 0.92 is 1.406. Yeah. 